Okay, so um, I've had a lot of people um, asking me to post videos, you know, with different exercises and ways to, you know, improve the dynamic of your upper register in particular. And, um, you know, d d just different ways to Im improve uh, your range and, and your voice. And I haven't been able to do it because the, the video editor that I use... Um, just stopped working and so I've been unable to, to edit videos but I figured um, I would try to just just go all the way through without you know any stopping or editing and um, just go over some different things that I use uh, you know warm-ups different exercises different ways to improve your voice and um, the first thing um, that people ask me a lot is um, you know the different exercises I use to to practice my upper register and um, contrary to a lot of videos that I see on YouTube and a lot of exercises <clears throat> there are a lot of exercises that when you are going through a scale it tells you to go through each individual individual or I'm sorry each interval individually like uh, uh, like you know uh, you go through every every step of the scale but I found that when you're doing this with your upper register it really doesn't allow you to to focus on maintaining good tonality and allowing you to, to have a fluent you know more of a fluent voice not choppy and a good way to do this is never uh, leave your head voice. If you have to leave your head voice, you're you're going too high and you need to sing lower. Now, what I do, um, since I don't sing out every interval in the scale, is I'll do the root, the fifth, and then the octave. Like, um... Uh, And just, um, you know, do it in a way that you feel comfortable doing it. Um, it's not about how high, whenever you're singing. It's not about how high. I know, judging on some of the videos that I have posted, one would think, well, you know, how can you say that with the videos that you have posted? I have a lot of um, soprano videos posted just because I like to challenge myself. And it's important to challenge yourself as a singer. But you have to do it in a way that you're not singing uncomfortably. Because if, if you are singing and it doesn't feel comfortable, and it doesn't feel natural, and it feels, you know, like it's strained, or you wake up the next day and you're like, man, I really shouldn't have sang like that last night. Then don't sing like that, because that is how you hurt yourself. You have to work with the register that you already have, or you're going to hurt yourself. And that's very important. Because any of the exercises that I do, any of the songs that I sing, the videos that I post, I never sing anything that makes me feel uncomfortable. Because the whole purpose of these videos and exercises and you know singing these notes is to improve is to get better is to develop and if you're singing something that's not comfortable you're defeating the whole purpose because it's not natural it's going to hurt you and it's not going to lead to improvement or progress so don't do that now back to um another thing that i like to do before i even start singing actually it's a good way to relax uh, your throat and your jaw and you know all your th all all the equipment you use to sing. <sighs> it sounds really silly, so if you have friends, don't do it around them because they're gonna call you a loser or or something. You won't have friends for long. 
Trust me. Okay. So, uh, you know, the, the raspberries that you do as a kid, uh, they're called raspberries where I'm from. I don't know what they're called, but <laughs> kind of like that. You know, spit on the camera a little bit. Well, you're going to do that, except you're going to add pitch to it, and you're going to, to, to do a scale while doing it. Um, it takes a bit of practice, but what it does is it really relaxes everything that you primarily use to sing. What it sounds like is this. <laughs> messed up see that's the whole that's the whole point of it you do it and you know that's gonna happen a lot because it's hard to get used to it uh, you know keep the lips moist or whatever and if you, you you just run through a couple scales do it just relax and um, then you can go into your vocal exercises you know one of which I just showed you I'm sorry you may have some of your own that you do now moving on to the next thing and this is probably one of the most important things out, out of all of them. You need to know how to do this before you do any of this. You need to know how to use your diaphragm. <clears throat> because if you don't know how to use your diaphragm, you're not going to sing your fullest potential. Um, it's just, I mean, it's just bad practice to be singing consistently and not sing from your diaphragm. Now, how you do this is uh, your diaphragm, it's its in here. It's, it's the part of your body, I guess, I think, I don't know, I'm not an anatomy expert. When you breathe in, your lungs take the oxygen from the air that you breathe in. Now, if you breathe in in a certain way, your diaphragm will take in that oxygen and your lungs will take less of it, allowing you to have more air to use and also not constricting uh, in the chest area, in your vocal cords, and um, it'll allow you to hold much more air. How you do this is when you take in a deep breath, don't move your shoulders, don't move your head, your neck, your arms. Just breathe in with your stomach. Breathe in so it becomes flat. And when you do this, then it's not allowing the lungs to take in. Because when you normally take in a breath, you know, if you walk up to someone and say, take a deep breath, they'll be like, you know, and all this moves, this moves, it, it, it presses down on, on, on your vocal cords, your lungs are taking a lot of the oxygen right into them. Um, so you have to learn how to use your diaphragm, which is kind of like taking a deep breath like this. And allows the air to go into your diaphragm. Your chest will kind of puff out a little bit, it'll make you look a little more muscular, you know, Lots of great shit comes from doing that. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to give an example of, of how you would take air into your diaphragm before singing something. Because, I don't know, I don't want someone to, to, to ask me later, well, how can you apply that to singing? I'll show you. Okay. Again. You have to practice because the more you do it, the better you'll get and it'll keep you from losing your breath, it'll keep you from, you know, ruining your tone, it'll allow, it'll really help with duration a lot. If you can master that and learn when to take your breaths and, and how to do it without it affecting your singing, you will get a lot better. So that's it for now because we're coming up on the 10 minute mark and um, hopefully when my editing program gets fixed, I'll be able to make something a little more fancy and uh, maybe a little more in depth and not have to use so much, so much video time because I can't edit. All right. See you guys later.